Let's take a look at a few tips to help you make the most out of normal audio. First up, the actor's voice. By default, the synthetic voices which are already installed on your computer are used, but you can install new ones and assign them to your actors. Click on this button to open the actor's editor. If you click on this menu, you'll see that, depending on your system, only a few voices will be available. So click on the button labeled Get More Voices to open up the Voices window. Each voice's nationality is represented by a flag and the gender by a female or male silhouette. Click on the Listen button to hear a short sentence. Hi, I'm Amanda. Do you like my voice? Hi, I'm Jenny. Do you like my voice? And install to download the voice package to your computer. From now on, you can choose this new voice for any actor in this or any other project. Thanks, honey, you did a great job. Another useful and fun thing to do is replacing the actor. Click on the Change button to open the actor's window. Choose one and click OK. If you have never used the chosen actor, it will be downloaded. And here you go. All the dialogues and actions you've done remain the same. Here's another way to achieve the same thing. Open up the Characters pane by clicking here, and click and drag one of them into the seat on top of one of your actors. You can also mix characters from different collections. Let's try adding one from the Pause collection. Uh-oh, it does work, but in some combinations, like this one, the cameras will not frame the characters nicely. Let's change the set for one from the Pause collection. As you can see, even though the Peeps actor is a bit too tall for this set, the pause actor is framed properly. That's it for now. Thanks for listening and keep making awesome movies.